So I come to mention, I'm an albino. In case you don't know, I see you. You're an albino. Yeah. So it's official. Big Brother Titans has started. Twenty housemates have been introduced to us. Ebuka and Lawrence hosted the lunch show, which was actually amazing. I enjoyed every single moment of it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the house has been revealed and we're seeing the drama already things are already started happening right and personally i am having a good time already beginning with the live launch show there were so many things that i observed and i cannot wait to share with all of you on this particular video right so on this video we're going to be looking at three different things we're going to be looking at the housemate selection we're going to be looking at Ebuka and lawrence's chemistry on the stage during the live launch show and we're also going to be looking at the house, the Titans Mansion, yes. That's what we're going to be calling it, the Titans Mansion. So ladies and gentlemen, um, just go ahead, watch this video to the end. And please, if you have your own thoughts you want to share, as usual, I encourage you to go ahead and share with me in the comment section below, okay? But before we get into all of that good stuff, let me officially welcome all of you <laughs> back to my YouTube channel. Hi, you're especially welcome back. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory, and I am the girl with the T. If you are new on here, if you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for choosing to become a part of this community. But if you are just a viewer and you are yet to subscribe, trust me, you definitely need to arrive. So please just go ahead and do exactly what you see on your screen. Do not hesitate, especially if you're looking for that space where you can get the most detailed, factual, and accurate analysis of reality TV shows, movies, and trending social topics. And if you're looking for that space where you can get back-to-back -back updates and accurate analysis of Big Brother Titans, this is that space. You're looking for that space where you want to banter, where you want to have um, intellectual conversations about the show as well, this is that community. You are welcome here to express yourself share your thoughts and share your opinion all right and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for choosing to come back now all of that said let's proceed this is the part where i get to give the organizers their accolades their flowers they really did great this time yes i love 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 the diversity of the housemates their personalities are so different yes they are so different yet they seem similar in a way but in the meantime looking at the housemates from the perspective of their types ladies and gentlemen i am really impressed with the bold statement that the organizers made this time around by including a housemate that is an albino is it albino or albino ladies and gentlemen please correct me with my pronunciation but by the time i saw a boo boo ladies and gentlemen i was shocked and i was amazed i was impressed at this guy oh my god it seems like he's a brainiac he's a creative to the core according to him anything artistic anything that has to do with creativity he's there call him there and this is giving me the vibe that the task for this season it's gonna be fun it's gonna be exciting it is a core creative and i feel like it's gonna be bringing a lot of spice and a lot of juice to um to the task i mean personally i didn't see it coming that the organizers would make such a bold statement you know would be ready to take such a huge leap you know into this space of inclusivity and it's not like the big brother organizers have not been very very inclusive all the while right but um there are certain types of housemates or individuals rather that you do not easily see in big brother's house yes so seeing a boo, boo guys that was a huge encouragement for me that wow that okay there's hope for many others like him or people that are not like him but are kind of different you know by their looks if they want to participate in the show talking about Ebuka and lawrence's chemistry during the live launch show ladies and gentlemen i was super excited i was really impressed and my respect for Ebuka grew by 100 or even more because i don't know if it was just me but i kind of noticed that Ebuka was not doing too much we know that Ebuka is really good we know that lawrence is kind of new in this terrain right so what i saw what i experienced was 
these two people working together, following each other's space, although Lawrence anchored more than Abuka, which is probably them going by the script, you know, um, that they have actually arranged for the show, yes, but um, I noticed that Ebuka was not really doing too much. Ebuka maintained his space as the Ebuka that we all know. Ebuka continued in his own power as the Ebuka that we know, the Ebuka of Big Brother Niger. We saw that same Ebuka shining in all of his glory. Lawrence, on the other hand, ladies and gentlemen, I saw a lot of growth. I saw a lot of improvement. His confidence level has kind of increased. A lot of people might not agree with that, but... I am saying that compared to the Lawrence that I saw, you know, anchoring the show during um, Big Brother and Zamzi of last year to this one that's anchored, um, co-anchored with Ebuka, there's a huge difference. There's a huge level of level up. Lawrence has really leveled up. And I love, love, love the way he was able to blend with the Nigerian housemates. Yes, it was really exciting, guys. And I also loved the fact that... Um, Lawrence was really communicating with the English language and I loved his sense of humor. Lawrence was cracking me up so bad. Lawrence was shining, ladies and gentlemen. He was shining and oh my God, his outfits were to die for. Ebuka, as usual, was killing it with his fashion sense. Yes, but Lawrence was shining through as well. I was really impressed. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how many of you saw the part that Ebuka uh, mentioned um, an announcement from um, INEC, yes, the Nigerian Electoral um, Commission about um, this year's election that's going to happen in Nigeria come February. I was actually glad that they ran that ad because that was another huge statement debunking that false um, belief or misconception that people have about them that they do not care about Nigerians, right? So that was a huge statement from them saying that, no, even though we are running our business, our business is entertainment, our business is providing a platform to elevate youths, our business is um, providing a platform for unity, for collaboration between Nigerians and South Africans or whatever, we also are concerned and we also carry in our consciousness the Nigerian elections that are coming. And so, guys, that message for the Nigerian viewers to go ahead and get their PVC, secure their PVC, and prepare themselves to exercise their uh, their fundamental human rights as a Nigerian citizen, guys. That was a very, very powerful statement. I was really happy that we had that moment during the live show. But anyways, moving away from all of that, the house. Now, for those of you who did not watch Big Brother and Zamzi last year, this is the same mansion that was used for that season of that show, yes. This was the same mansion and to be very honest guys they've actually upgraded it and i am loving the new look i love 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 the space i love what they've done with the house i love how colorful it looks i love how you know um aesthetically pleasing to the eyes it looks and ladies and gentlemen once again i don't know if it's just me or maybe i'm observing things too much i'm seeing things too much how many of you noticed as well that the cameras that they installed in the house for this particular show, ha, they are out of this world. It's as if they put 4K cameras in all corners of the house. I mean, the cameras are so sharp that I can literally see through the pores of the housemates. Well, not literally, of course, but it's so sharp, ladies and gentlemen. And that's to tell you that a lot of resources has actually gone into the production of this big brother titan show yes and this is me giving the, the organizers their flowers once again that hey they actually did themselves this time around and they are really putting in a lot to ensure that um we enjoy the experience but anyways guys this is where i'm going to end this video i just said i should point out all of these things that i observed yes right from the launch show to all of you so please go ahead and share with me your own observations in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with gloria elijah have an amazing amazing time out bye